Welcome guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Kev and this is KLT Electrical Services and in today's video we're going to be reviewing the Milwaukee Packout Open Top Tote. So uh, yeah, let's not delay it anymore, let's get on with it. Let's do that fly through. Welcome guys and girls, um, thank you for coming to look at this video. For those that have been here before, welcome back. And for those that have only just found KLT Electrical Services, welcome. Um, we are a very small channel that does average content, electrical content, uh, some tool reviews like this one and some tool comparisons as well. So um, if you do like the stuff I put out, then please consider um, subscribing to the channel. It helps us build. And as I said in previous videos, um, the AdSense revenue that I create through this channel, which is a very small amount, I do try and plough it back in to create content for you guys. So um, yeah, your support is um, is greatly appreciated and that's the only way that we grow. So yeah, but in today's video, as I said at the start, I'm gonna be reviewing on and showing you around this Milwaukee pack out, 25 centimeter, 250 mil open tote tool bag. Um, I think this came out the back end of 2023. Uh, Milwaukee brought it out and I've had it a couple of months now and I've been using this as my main tool bag. So yeah, what I thought I'd do is do a short little video just showing you the compartments, some of the tools I've got inside and um, just showing you how I use it day to day. Um, so yeah, what I'm gonna do is bring you in a little bit closer so you can actually see inside it. And then um, we'll go through what I've got in here, what my thoughts are, and we'll compare it to a Vito open, to a open top tote bag that I've got um, to have a comparison and for the quality and stuff so yeah let me bring you in so firstly guys and girls you can see that it's made um, it's got a nice solid plastic base which has got the old pack out um, fixing so the main reason I bought this is because as you know from my previous videos I've um, bought into the pack out system and I'm sick and tired of tool bags flying around in the back of my van and that's no reflection on my uh, my driving but you do get tool bags flying around in the, the van and tools come flying out and all that sort of stuff. So when I saw this, I thought, you know what, I'm going to buy this because it locks into my existing pack out system, goes with it really well, you know, seamless integration and stuff like that. And it just means everything's secure and it's not flying around. So yeah, it's got the pack out um, crate on the bottom and then it's got a little release system there, which means you can slot it in like so grab that put it on top like that locks in so yeah absolutely seamless with any pack out system um, so I have this on top of one of my crates sits in the van everything's secure doesn't fall around tools don't go flying and then to get it out just release like that Uh, in terms of build quality, uh, I mean, it, obviously I've not tested it over an extremely long period of time, but I've tested it now for a couple of months. And to be honest, I tend to look after my tool bags so they don't get absolutely wrecked like, a, you know, I treat them pretty well. So this has had moderate use, but as you can see, it's in very good condition because I look after it. But it's made of this really nice, strong, I don't know what material you'd call it, um, I guess it's some sort of synthetic material on the outside and there's obviously lots of rivets securing it to the plastic base inside or at the bottom obviously being a plastic base there's going to be no water ingress or anything like that so you can put it down on a wet floor and it's not going to get wet and then as I say there's lots of poppers all the way around meaning the material is screwed and secured in place uh, really really well coming a bit further up you've got this nice leather top um, which is very um, resembles a Vito which I'm going to um, compare this to afterwards but yeah nice leather top right here which is a very nice finish and then up we've got the nice obviously material strap with this nice big rubber handle here which uh, yeah which is quite ergonomic really and, and again riveted in the side here really secure um, yeah so in terms of the build quality um, I think it's brilliant so let me now take you inside the tool bag and I'll show you what compartments I've got you know there's only three main compartments but I'll show you what I've got in there and how I've organized stuff um, 
and how much stuff I can fit in there. So as I said, there's three main compartments in this in this uh, open top tote. There's the the you know the one in the middle, which um, measures 900 mil, nine centimeters in width, and then there's the outer ones, which are slightly smaller, measure 600. So 600 mil or six centimeters in width, and that's the same for this side as well. Um, in the center, there is nothing in the center. Um, so what I use it for is lots of different hand tools which I just keep loose in there. So things like the Nipex strippers are in there. Um, some conduit cutters I keep in there. Some automatic wire strippers. Those sorts of things which are a little bit bulky to store but actually fit in there nicely because you can depress the handles and then they just sit in the middle like that. Um, also I keep a hammer in there, obviously my volt tester and stuff like that. So those bits in the middle are, are loose, but actually they fit in there quite nicely and, and don't really move around that much. So coming to the sides, obviously in these, in these, uh, this side for example, you've got lots of these little um, material, I call them pockets, but I don't know what you would essentially call them, but you've got all these material bits, which I use for screwdrivers. So just line them up how I want them. I know where they're gonna be when I, when I need them and just put them in there like that and then like that and like that so you've got these higher pockets but I don't know if you can see but lower down there are some smaller pockets further down so this screwdriver for example sits in a lower pocket and is held in there nice and secure like that so yeah and then over this side we've got these little smaller uh, pockets which I use for um, like a deburring tool um, a little inspection mirror a little inspection mirror and then a 3.5 mil refredder for back boxes and stuff like that. So yeah, that's that side. There is still extra room in here. As you can see, I can fit some more stuff in here. So I haven't loaded it out as much as I possibly could, but I want to try and keep this as you know as light and as accessible and easy to carry as possible. So let's move over to the other side. So on this side, as I say, it's the same 600 wide as this, and it's got these, uh, you know, the put the pockets again up high and also down down low. But this is where I keep all my pliers and my sort of cutters and stuff like that. So yeah, along here I've got some little um cable tie snips, um just a cheapy pair. And then I've got the you know, likes of my croppers, so a big pair of croppers, a small pair of croppers, and then various other bits and pieces, Nipex um combi pliers, which I've done a review on. Put a video up a little link up here and then pliers um some more cutters some bent nose pliers long nose pliers um cable shears and from nipex and uh some other small little pliers which i use for doubling over conductors and stuff so again i could probably fit a bit more in here and certainly there's some more room down the front here but it's it's plenty enough for what i want it for this is mainly a sort of a i guess you could call it a second fixing bag but a lot of this stuff I use on a daily basis if I'm, you know, if I'm terminating sockets or doing stuff like that. So it's not got all my floor lifting equipment and all that sort of stuff in it because that's for another bag. But yeah, this is for mainly, you know, working on fuse boards. So everything in here, you know, I would need for, do, you know, changing the fuse board or whatever um, or working on a fuse board and stuff like that. So, yeah. Um, Going to the end, obviously I've got my volt tester in this centre pocket, but I've got my proving unit in the end. And then all I've got is various other bits and pieces like a, a DeWalt laser, laser measure, measurer. And then various pens, markers, stud buddy, uh, marksman, and yeah, other marking equipment, your tracer pens and all that sort of stuff. So nothing to... Uh, too, too, you know, too special in there, but there's still plenty of room. There's still plenty of room in this end pocket for you to put stuff if you wanted, if you wanted to. So, and then the other thing I quite like is it's got this little zip pocket. And what I keep in there is these plastic um, meter cupboard keys because I always end up losing these. So, yeah, put that in there. So, yeah, that's a nice little handy pocket on the end. Got rings obviously here and here, so you can put, you know, tape 
loops and all that sort of stuff or hang stuff at the end I haven't hung anything off this end but um, yeah you have got the capacity to do that and also on the side you've got these little um, these little loops so for example if you wanted to put you know not that you would but you, you could put screwdrivers in there if you wanted to or you know or whatever you wanted to put on there you could you know put stuff like that or I don't know what you'd want to put in there but you've got the capacity to put stuff hang stuff off the side again the same at this end and this end you've got a tape loop which I've used for some tape and then turning it to this end you've got two different pockets so let's take this uni light off for now so instead of having a big pocket like you've got this end you've got two smaller pockets which are as I say smaller in size but you can still put stuff in so like for example I've got a marksman and a vault pen which go in that one and then I put two knives a Stanley and a and an Ipex knife in there just to keep them out of the way really so they're in there nicely and obviously there's another loop that end which I keep my socket tester and then a tape measure um, bracket there which I keep my tape on so yeah that's that end again this side you've got they supply you with another tape chain so that's a metal chain for tape um, and then you've got these little loops again which you could potentially I guess you could put um, you know long uh, impact bits in there or long screwdrivers or, or whatever you'd want you know something like this something like this screwdriver for example you could probably slide in there um, if you wanted to fits quite nicely actually to be honest but I mean I don't carry stuff like this with me so um, yeah I don't utilize these but there's still the capacity to put stuff in there should you want to and then lastly I use this strap because it's nice and chunky just to use my little stabilla um, pocket level just to secure that on there like that and like that so yeah that's my um, very quick guide of or tour of my this this open tote and my loadout and how I utilize it but there is lots of other ways that you could mount stuff or store stuff so what we'll do we'll zoom out again and then I want to do a little comparison for between this and a Vito open top tote that I've got so here's the Milwaukee open top tote and this is my other open top tote which I use for sort of um, other jobs like I guess working outside you know doing SWAs because I've got one of my um, you know my Nipex multi pliers in there and ergo strips and all that sort of stuff so it's it's, it's sort of more of a uh, the stuff that I don't fit in here I could probably fit in here I, I put in this one so I tend to bring this out always this sometimes comes out sometimes but I just wanted to do a side to side comparison to give you guys an idea of the quality of this so I love vetoes I've had a lot of vetoes and I've still got a lot of vetoes or some vetoes um, but I just wanted to give you the uh, you know side to side comparison really because nice plastic base loads of rivets nice leather top really nice sturdy strap nice plastic base loads of rivets sturdy material leather top nice sturdy strap I mean albeit this is smaller but it's still the same thing it's got the three compartments uh, middle and obviously either side but the construction of it, literally, I can't tell you how similar they are. I don't know if Milwaukee's looked at the Vito and thought, this is what we want to make ours like because of the quality of them are renowned for the quality. Um, but to be honest, I have to give Milwaukee credit. They've done a bloody good job of it. So yeah, I just wanted to give you that side-to-side -side comparison just to show you how good a quality this really is. Yeah, so that's it, guys. That's the uh, Milwaukee pack out. Uh, 25 centimeter open top pro tote bag from Milwaukee um, yeah it's a very short video um, and I've sort of flown through it really but I just wanted to give you an idea of the build quality of this what I use it for how I've got it semi loaded out albeit I haven't gone through in a great detail of what I've got in here but yeah I am very impressed um, as I say from someone who's had uh, a lot of vetoes and still use uses vetoes had velocity um, now moving on to the Milwaukee tool bags, um, their pack out tool bags. I'm very, very impressed with the build quality. This is probably up there with a Vito. With the quality of that OTMC that I've got, um, 
or whatever the code was for my my Vito open top tote. This is top tier, the same as that is. So um, so yeah, if you are thinking of getting one of these, I think I got this from my ITS. Um, yeah, so and as I say, it's got the beauty that it it. it it's seamless integration with your current pack out system means that it's not falling around the back of the van and your tools end up everywhere so yeah I'm very impressed with this and um, yeah very happy I bought it so as I say uh, as I said at the start of the video if you like some of the content I put out trying to make it a bit better make it a bit more interesting for you you know try my best but um, yeah if you do like the content and please consider subscribing um, Please interact in the comments, um, anything that you like about it, anything that you don't like, anything that you think that Milwaukee could improve or, you know, just anything that you should think I should have in this tool bag. So, um, yeah, it's all good interaction. And, um, yeah, I've got a few more videos coming because I've got another Milwaukee uh, pack out bag, but it's a closed tote that I'm going to do a review of soon. So, um, but I just wanted to use it for a couple of weeks before I did that. And um, yeah, so we've got more content coming. But um, for now, thank you very much for uh, tuning in. And um, we'll see you again next time. Bye for now.